Oh, can you turn it on there, Mom? Yeah. Good morning, everyone. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Good morning. Good morning. Where are you joining from? Hi, we... guys. It's good to see it. Well, good to be here and not, I can't see you, but it's good to be here. <laughs> yes, it's good to have Mom here. And Emily is a busy little uh, bee working. We're trying to get everything ready so we can all go on vacation, you yes. guys. We are all excited hey, good morning. for the holidays. Good morning, Paula and Kathy. Oh, from Ephraim, Utah. Oh, so you're just down close. the road. You are down the road. Maryland. Oh hey, Tammy. I think I saw an order for you. I was kind of... So, on Monday, I came into the shop and um, we released um, the Winter Quaker last week and we had... You guys, so many of you ordered the Quaker and the finishing kit, and I just so have cool. so much gratitude, and so I spent some time writing thank you notes on some of your orders. I hope, I, I, I awesome. tried to do an, I tried to do a lot, but I mean, there it, were so many, yeah. there was no way I was going to get everyone a note, but I tried to write notes on orders, and... Um, I recognized a lot of your names, yeah. and so thank you, thank you, thank you, you guys. And and I've had a lot of, like, um, personal messages in my box and stuff, how you guys are excited to stitch along with me and stuff. And I actually, um, I did start it. Should we show it? And we can show it again or yeah. whatever. We're just kind of chatting because yeah. Katie's going to be a little late, and she wanted to kind of wait until she got here. Um, uh, so... Let's see. Oh, so it. the Winter Quaker was released last week, and Mom is doing Stitch Along with Mom uh, with the Winter Quaker, which I have it, I'll have it right here, you guys. Yeah. Good morning, Susan. Good morning, Michelle. Okay, so. So so what Mom I Mom is doing the Stitch Along and, with this, and I know that uh, it's on. What? 28, 28 count mushroom. mushroom. And so uh, I decided to do it on 32. I'm like so proud of you. Like I, I have to say, you know, it's taken me a long time. It's taken me a long time to be comfortable. But I'm going to tell you the secret. And, and nobody, not everybody's going to ever feel comfortable. And, you know, and that's okay. You do what is comfortable for you. I still okay. love my 25. I still love my 25, but this is the game changer. Your tiny little hoop. <laughs> my tiny, tiny little hoop. And so here. It's so cute. Oh, I'm sorry. Me the, that's a big board. For that's a, a big board. But sorry. Should we put the pillow up against it and you sure. can kind of see? So I did the first part. I can't really see. I did the first part. And this Wait, is which on. which is over here. Am, yeah. I, am I showing that right? I can't yes. see what I'm doing. Yep. <laughs> So I did the first part that we're going to start because with us being on vacation, I wanted just to be ahead of the game again and stuff. And so the, this is on 32. This is on 28. And so you can kind of see the difference of the size. And the only way I was able to do that is with this hoop. Um, I, and, and I can't do the sew method with it. Um, the only time I can do my sew method is if I do 25 and the other ones. And I just, you guys, the floss color. Is so beautiful. Color and cotton. Oh my gosh. Um, We use color and cotton battleship. And yeah. just really a big shout out to all of our. Um, I mean, it's just beautiful. Who we order from. They have been so good to us, yeah. and Color and Cotton, we have several projects coming up for Nashville using their floss as well, but this battleship, the variegation is, like, so lovely. Yeah. It's so lovely. Like, I can't even describe it. So, yeah. I... I really need... It we'll gives have to it iron so it much and get dimension. a picture. It gives it so much dimension, um, and I'm all about the monochromatic because yeah. it's... Yeah. Oh, Katie, like, how do you feel Katie's about here. the monochromatic? Katie's here. Hi, Katie. Um, I, you know, actually, I, I've loved this. And what I liked about this is I try to go, even though it's small, you know, I try to 
kind of go back and forth and maybe sh whatever. But I really, you do really don't have to. Yeah. Uh, because you want so it question to have. So question for you. Do you cross your exes? Yes. One at a time? Yes. And I, I have watched other people. And actually, um, I think it was Lori Holt mm -hmm. that even has mentioned it on her floss too when she does it. You have to finish your exes in order to get the better variegation. The, ver the better variegation. You can't just do one and then go back. Yeah. So, but, oh so man, cute. I... I am loving it. It's been so fun. Here, you gotta get that back to me. Oh, sorry. I, I was just gonna steal it. So, <laughs> so on on my road trip, I can't cross stitch when we drive. I can't cross stitch and drive. I can crochet and drive. I can't cross stitch and drive. But I can't cross stitch. Those of you who can, kudos to you. Wow. Yeah. Like that. But I can't get it in the hole. <laughs> but we will have a lot of uh, downtime, and you know if, when in between our activities and so I will work on the second part and be able to but it will start when does it start the 20 21st I think you've got it is the 21st I think so yeah Katie she knows. yeah Katie will know but but good morning Dory yeah so from Tracy California and, and to be <laughs> honest this only took me I want to say it only took me two nights uh, from wow. from stitching like I go in and start stitching around about four o'clock, stitch for an hour or so, have dinner, and then I'll go stitch in the evening while we're watching our sport games and stuff, and maybe, you know, for a couple hours. And so it only took me a couple nights to do that. So, awesome. so I'm excited that game changer and we might have some of these in the shop. I'm not yeah, sure. Yeah, and I use the tension hoop as well. I use the size bigger. And um, I do use the size bigger on different projects. Yeah. And I love the way the tension hoop, I prefer to hoop because I feel like it makes my, my stitches, the tension in my actual stitches yeah. look nicer, if that makes sense. But yes, everyone but is comfortable with what they like to do. And I say do what you what like to do. What makes you feel good. Um, yeah, Katie just said that it's the 21st is week one. So um, does this require more than one skein of floss? So in our kit, we do two skeins. So mm -hmm. you have plenty, whether or not you're stitching it on the um, recommended count. We try and yeah. like give you a little extra. So like if someone is stitching on a, on a to frog 14 it. or an 18 count or, you know, we try and keep that in mind. So two skeins of the color and cotton. Yeah. Color and cotton comes in eight yard skeins. Yeah. Whereas um, classic color works, they I think are six. And so we usually do one more skein when we use classic color works just yeah. to make up the difference. But, um, you know, and, and there's other beautiful colors out there. I know everybody, you know, uh, can't get like the color in cotton or even some of the fancier flosses, the other things. I mean, I'm sure. You can even get DM, the variegated yeah, DMC. DMC. And, yeah. you know, all I just, I'm. I know Lindsay mentioned this last week on the Christmas one, how everybody's been doing their own spin on the colors. Like, I oh love gosh. seeing that. You guys. I love it. And, and so you could even do DMC and do different blues. Yeah. I mean, there's so many options that you could do. I mean, it can't, it don't have to be exact. You do what feels good for you. Yeah. So, yep. but anyway, um, so the newsletter now that Katie's here, I know yeah. for sure she's here. I can. We wanted to make sure she got here so she could post in, and help you guys out. Yeah, so our newsletter went out this morning. We had um, just a couple things. Well, we can talk about these first. So Plum Street Sampler has a few new patterns that we just put in the shop. Um, Christmas in the Colonies. Cute. So this is like a spin, like there's little pilgrims and Christmas motifs. That cute. Winter blessings. This is just like a mini. Um, I love the little red robins or the cardinals, I guess you would say. And I guess cute. this would be like, it looks like a sister pattern. This is the autumn one. Oh, okay. And then we have the New World Sampler. 
Ooh, this is a hefty one. Yeah, that, that's thick. <laughs> that yeah. stitch count is, let's see what the stitch count is on that. 169 by 185, yeah. so not crazy, but it is but a it, thick pattern. It is a thick pattern. So, but, and then um, we got some of the new tra la la. Tra la la is in, and which I went over and snagged a couple. I I thought these were the only two. Am I missing any? They're, you're missing one. I think we sold out of okay, one. Okay, that's and right. So, and I didn't get the one that we sold out of, so we're going to need to order. We're going to need to order. Um, so you guys have seen... Here, hand me the board and I'll show okay. them. So you've seen the one I've been working on, and I think these are kind of... I don't, I don't think these are as big as this, though. I think they're a little I different. But so cute. Um, I believe we got more of these in stock. Um, I finished this. This is the tra la. This is the tra la la, and I just have ran out of time to finish to fully finish it. But oh my gosh, I have absolutely loved this. He is just adorable. And I mean, you've got the critter, you got the snow, you got <laughs> the cute little Santa with the gift. How could you go wrong? And How do you think you're going to finish it? Well, you, you know, I was, I was going to do a pillow, but I'm like going, you know, I'm thinking I'd like to either frame it or do something. But like I said, I've just ran out of time. I, and so I, just, I hear you with that. I, I just, I just think I want to frame it or do something, but I'll show you guys if I get it finished. So very but, cute. Mom. Yeah, very it's cute. It's really cute. So the new ones that we got in. And her patterns, they're all in a different language, so I don't know how to pronounce it, yeah. but Pierre Noel Jouan, Jouanne, yep. So I got... I don't speak French. I, I've gotten him, so I can stitch him and get a new whip, like, like Mama needs a new whip. <laughs> <laughs> and then Pierre Noel Blue. Oh. I know how to say that. B L E U. Blue. And I just think <laughs> these guys are a little smaller. These are only 81 by 81. Mm. And if you do it on a small count, you know, it is, you know, it will be nice and small. But, but, um, again, you just do what, what's comfortable for you and what you like. Um, so Dory asked, are you loving your new sewing machine? I'm thinking about test driving one. Yes. We love the new Bernina machine and mom. Oh my God. You want to tell them what you did? Okay. <laughs> So, when we all started this journey, um, my mom, she's been a sewer since I was a wee child, and I have her first singer, um, and when, when she, her and my sister owned a porcelain doll shop that they would make porcelain dolls, and so they sewed all their clothing, and so they had bought these really nice high-end Berninas at the time, and when my mom passed away, she gave you know, I was able to get that machine. And so I covet that machine. And to be honest, every time I take it in to have it cleaned, they ask me if I'm ready to sell it to them because it, it's hard. It's, very, it's, a great it's a great machine. It's very sought after and I won't do it. it and so when I bought... That's because it's it's grandma's well, machine. Well, it's, it's my mom's machine. It's like, and it's just such stay. a sentimental. And she's, she's, she loves yeah. that machine. Yeah. <laughs> and so, so, um, when, when I got my new, when I got my new machine a while, a long time ago, uh, you know, it just was kind of sitting there. And then when Katie started wanting to sew, I says, well, here, I'll let you borrow this one. But if you don't want to take, you know, if you don't want to keep it, you make sure you get that to me. And she's like, yeah, that sounds great. And, you know, uh, then me and Lindsay got the new, the great big new ones. And so we had our other ones and we gave Jesse Lindsay's and we gave Emily mine. Yes. And then Katie, you know, in the older machines, sometimes they can be a little bit more finicky mm -hmm. and they sound a little louder. They do different things and stuff. And she was, oh, there we go. There we go. We're back. We're back. Sorry. Sorry, Oh, my guys. goodness. I'm that so was sorry. That was strange. I don't know where I left off. But anyway, so Katie was struggling with the machine, and she brought it back to me. She says, Mom, will you sew on it and see if it needs to be serviced? And I did, and there really wasn't anything wrong with it. And so me and Lindsay had talked, and we said, well, I don't really care. We can buy her a new machine. And I thought, I'll just go in and buy her one like the, the other girls have. 
because they still make them and they're really nice machines. Well, when I went in, they didn't have any in stock. And to be honest, the K faucet one was cheaper to buy that one than to buy the smaller one because of the, the, the limited edition sale they're doing. In fact, it is half off of what me and Lindsay bought and it's the same machine. Oh, it's wow. just blue. Yeah. So go figure. So if you guys want one, <sighs> you better run because it's a limited edition. Yeah. And it's practically half off of what they're regularly priced. And, and um, it might just be that store. And it might just be our Bernina store. So don't so, quote me on it. Yeah. I don't know. But that's what they're offering here. And and I think I might have took their last one. I'm not sure. <laughs> so you probably just got the Dill of the Century. Yes. <laughs> and so I didn't even tell anybody what I was doing. And um, other than I just had called, I had texted Katie's husband and said, hey, I want to do this. Will you keep it on the down low? Make sure she's not doing anything because Katie is all about her fun parties and her friends and everything and I just love it and so he made sure that she wasn't doing anything and I says just tell her that you're going out to dinner and and I says and then we'll go out to dinner and everything so I got to the house she was up in her uh, room getting ready and I says just unlock the door and I'll sneak in and and that and so I did we waited for a little bit she come down she seen me and she's like, what the heck are you doing here? And I was like, I just, I had to come see my Katie. And I thought I'd go out to dinner with you guys. And and so she's like, all right. And I says, well, and I brought grandma's machine back. And now this machine is like extremely heavy. Oh, because it's all metal. It's all heavy, heavy metal. It's like a it tank. <laughs> you guys, it's a tank. And so I, I says, hey, I'm... I'm going to grab the boys. She has all these boys. And I says, will you boys come help grandma get her overnight bag in, in the big machine? And so they come out and I, and they're like, what's this? And I was like, it's a secret. It's a surprise. And I walk in and she sees the boxes and she's like, what have you done? <laughs> she says, mom, what have you done? And I says, well, I thought, I says, it's a machine. I says, you need a sewing machine. And I brought you a sewing machine. And oh. she just, she cried and cried. And she just, the smile and everything, it was just such joy. And it just, man, it just made my mama heart just happy. And, and that's what I love. I love doing things for my girls. And it's, it's just fun. Well, and, and Katie, um, we've, been sewing a little bit more yep. and she has a natural talent for she it really you guys does. and so I am really excited to like see where the journey takes her yes. because I just know uh, we've kind of talked about it how sewing is very therapeutic and she has kind of been doing that and it's yep. like just I don't know there is something yeah. very therapeutic about sewing yep. and that's why we all sew right yep. <laughs> Yeah, and so um, so I stayed for a, a small amount of time the next morning because you know we live we live about two and a half hours from her, and I knew I had to get back, so I because I got a ton of stuff to do. And um, anyway, so I helped her um, kind of go through all the little things because these machines, the bobbins are bigger, the bobbin casing is a little tricky it's magnetized and it does take a little bit of effort. I have to like really think every time because I'm so used yep. to my other Bernina, and but it, it, it's not nail friendly. <laughs> no, it's but not. I will say the bigger bobbin is a game changer. I can sew. If you're sewing one of our um, gingham quilts or just like even just a scrappy square quilt, you can do one quilt With on one, one bobbin. bobbin. And so that amazing. Is, it is amazing. I love it. So I told Katie, because, you know, she does a lot of small projects. I says, one bobbin's going to last you a lifetime. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, I just, I'm just so pleased and happy that I was able to surprise her. And it was a lot of fun. So, yes. But anyway, sorry. No, no don't be sorry. <laughs> just, it was it, exciting. You know, it, it was. It was really a fun little experience to do and to surprise her. So. And now we all have our Berninas. We're going to do Zoom conference calls and have sewing days. Yep. <laughs> I, I, I told the girls yesterday, I says, I think we should set up a Zoom 
call once a month and do like we set up our machines we have our sewing zoom and and I even said I'll cut I'll cut everything out I'll get it all ready so you guys just have to sew Sorry, so so I'm hoping we can do that I'm excited um, really quick, the other thing that was in the newsletter, we are having 20% off select bundles in the shop. Um, they're already marked, no coupon code needed. So that was also in the newsletter. And I really, I'm sorry, I'm looking at the newsletter to make sure I didn't miss anything. I think, <laughs> I think that was it. If I missed something, Katie, you can pop on, pop and, on and let us know. Yeah. Um, but Mom has a lot to share, and I'm going to be her support buddy because um, I don't, but that's okay. Well, and I know last week, um, and oh, by the way, thank you everybody for all the well wishes. Um, I John had gotten sick, and mm. and he had just gotten like the flu or a cold, and he was getting over it. And then all of a sudden, I came down with it and went to the doctor, and they tested me for COVID, and... Lo and behold, lucky me. <laughs> and so I was down and out for a week, but um, he took very, very good care of me. And um, I, and, and it was, it was a lot easier than last time. And I didn't end up in a hospital, thank the good Lord. And so, yeah. but I did get a lot of stitching and a lot of fun things done. And, and then um, I know last week, uh, Lindsay said, and let you guys know that, um, I'm going to just start doing floss tube on the second Thursday of each month. And so that way you guys can kind of know when I'll be here and it's not, you know, and yeah. that, and it just, cause I, we, we've been doing a lot of like traveling here and there and doing fun things. And so just yeah. want to be able to have that time and stuff. But anyway, um, so one of the things I started is the little flea market from Lori Holt. So I started this and I what I did is I'm using and again it's the color and cotton and so I did all the color and cotton I went through and I wrote all the things down and I can share that down the road or whatever and um, stuff but I just wanted to show you. So these are mm, my colors. So beautiful. I wanted to do it more of the the what would you the call darker. it? The dark kind of fallish looking colors. Because I just, I just felt like that it just looked fallish, like it needed to be fallish, not like it was the, like the bright colors. And it's actually turning out really pretty. Um, and I, and again, I, I don't even know what count this is to be honest. I don't know if I wrote this it down. This looks like thirty-two. Yeah, I vintage think, country. Yeah, Oka. I think it is. And so that's what I've got so far. Let's see, I go a little further, but. It's really turning out really pretty. I love the colors. They're yeah. very and I'm, saturated. Yeah, I'm just, you know, it's given it a good uh, variegation. I don't know if you can really see that or not, but it's really turning out pretty. And I'm just taking my time. And, yeah. and, and again, it's that hoop that's the game changer and stuff. Super and, cute. Uh, so. I love it. So oh, let me fold this yeah. up for you. Okay. I'm so I'm doing that assistant one, here. but, um, you know, I've got my color and cotton and, and then I just wanted to show you guys again, I'm just putting them on. You can use any floss drops. I mean, there's so many variety out there. It's, these just happen to be the ones we sell and I have access to and stuff, but I, I have, and I think Lynn, I think we have all this stuff in our, uh, Oh, our Amazon store? Amazon. So these are like the little tabs. They're just small. And so I just put the little tab on there and the color. Yeah. And, you know, and I can reuse them. I've done it to where I've either peeled it off or I just stick a new sticker on. So. Very nice. So that's that Very one. Nice. So we'll zip that one up. And that one can go down. Ready now. Oh, and then I mentioned I was going to do this one. And so this is a small start. Yes, I'm not, this but I know is. it's going to be covered, so I'm just letting it go. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so this one, I am doing... This board is massive. <laughs> I know. I am doing the called for on this one, and it's the called for. I'm oh, going, doing the called for DMC. I'm just holding this up because it's yeah. like massive. 
And so I just, you know, and I believe I'm doing that on 28, just white. Great. And I just, I just thought this, here, I'm going to do it a little bit. Look how cute that is. I mean, it's just so teeny and cute. I just love it. I love the colors. Yes, I and they the are. Colors. They're bright, fun colors, and 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 I just I just love it. I think it's going to be fun to do and do a lot of fill in and stuff. So, so I do love that Very one. Very cute. And let's see. So then, I um when the when we got the schoolers, the prairie schoolers in the shop and and stuff, I was like, <gasps> I was like, I need this one, this Are one, you? this one, this oh one. Oh my goodness. <laughs> and so I, 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 I took she them, I have oh, them all. Oh, sorry. She has the whole collection. Yeah. So when I was looking at them and, you know, I, I was showing John them. And because he, he's, he's really, he's funny because he'll sit there and he's like, what are you stitching now? You're always stitching something new. And let me put these down so I don't keep putting that up there. And so, so I, I showed him this one and he was raised in the Catholic church and stuff. So he spotted this one right here because that's kind of like the church kind of looking guy. And so I got my color and cotton out mm -hmm. and you know, I, I found all the colors I wanted to do that I thought that'd be pretty. And look at that. Aww. Look how beautiful that is. And I believe this is like on the 32. And so he's, yeah. he's pretty small. I mean, he's not very big. And then I did really a, another start of another one back here. And I don't know how I'm going to finish him or whatever. I've just, I mean, I did this one like just in a couple days. It was when I... I don't know about you guys, but when you start stitching something and you're having so much fun seeing it come to life, it's like you can't hard put stop. it down. You can't stop. Oh, I and that I think that's how every, I, I think that's how time. everybody has been with like the Quakers. Yeah. And stuff. They it's like they can't stop. And so I just think it's so awesome. Um, but I just thought he just turned out cute. So cute. Just really pretty. And again, I don't really know how I'm gonna end it. Um, let's see, I've started something else, but I don't have a picture to that because it, it was, it was, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm a member of Teresa Kogut's, uh, Patreon. And so she releases things and it's all PDF and oh, I haven't I printed that one off. So I won't show you guys that till I print that off and I'll show you sometime at some other time. On that one. Love your Santas. Yes. They're so cute. I love them. And um, they're so satisfying. They are. Yeah. They are. And it's just so fun to see. I mean, they're all different sizes and fun and, and everything. So, last but not least, um, this year, with being sick and everything, time got away from me. And so I really didn't get any, a lot of Christmas stuff out. Um, I just didn't feel well <laughs> to go to the storage unit and everything. So I went and bought this like teeny little tree that's pre-lit and <laughs> stuff. It was only like $20, but I didn't really have any ornaments and it still don't have any ornaments. <laughs> <laughs> so, because I'm been, like, we're, like I'm, we're leaving on the 20th. We're not getting back until the second. And I was like, if I get everything out now, I'm just going to come back and put it back and we're not mm. even going to enjoy it. So I decided to make, I, I, I got, um, I got all of Lindsay. I went and I did, went on the hunt and I found, I went, I came over the other day, believe it or not, I don't have all the charts that we do at home. So <laughs> I came over and, and I picked a bunch of our charts that have, really teeny small things like this has a small snowman mm. um these have the little ice skates the you know just really smalls and then one of the ones i did where's, where's your new one did I, not, I don't know anyway but i did i did one of the little ornaments off of 
one oh. of Lindsay's pat one of the sippets is it the sip and stitch? I think so. I think the yeah. sip stitch repeat. Okay, so I've got that or one. Or warm winter wishes, I think maybe. And then I don't know. They all I, I, together. I did all the little I did the cups. Aww. And you see the circle because I was testing it. And then this these ones aren't Lindsay's patterns. These are ones that I found on other people's patterns. And honestly, it's just finding the real small ones. Yeah. But oh my gosh. Look how cute. Look how cute these are. Look at that snowman. And the snowman didn't have any arms. And I thought, what's a snowman with no arms? <laughs> He's got to have arms. And so um, I came over oh, the other day and Emmy had bought, you know, a bunch of these, the little hoops. And so I came and I got what we had and I even bought more <laughs> because I wanted, I'm going to work on this all year. And I mm -hmm. want to deck, even if I, next year I get my big tree out and everything, I still want to do this small yeah. tree and I just fill it idea. and just fill it full of all these littles. Like I want to make a bunch more snowman and, and, oh, I didn't, I don't think I showed you this one. Look at Cute this little, little sock. Stocking. But I have to say. I think these ones are my favorite. And they're they're Lindsay's little cocoa cups. Yeah. They're I mean so they cute. and the the green one didn't have because on the pattern I think they're stacked. Mm -hmm. And so what I did is I just added the white mm, yeah. and added the little uh knots and stuff. That's so they kind of matched. But you know, and I I think it's Lindsay, she says how she likes to stitch. What did you say? Like on the fly or what do you call that? Improv stitching. Improv stitching. And the colors that I'm using. Just pick your colors and pick the charts and go is, at it. Is no all, rhyme or I, reason. You know, I, I've talked about this before. It's all my aura, aura floss. floss. It's all my aura floss. The and cocoa I just. cups are from. Probably warm winter wishes. It's yes. Is I, what I'm I thought guessing. I had the chart with me, but I I must still have it at home. It's this one right here. Oh, yes, it's that one. Which you guys, I love this one so yeah. much. And that's the ornament. And so what I did is I took the green cup, and you put the whipped cream I, like yep, that's on the, the whip, red. The whipped cream on the red, and really cute and stuff. But this red. It's such a good red. I love this red. In I've fact, never I've never found I, a replacement red. I for that. am going to make Lindsay buy me a whole pack of these <sighs> okay. because I love this red. It is. I can't read without my glasses. What is that? Twenty two sixty. It's a twenty two sixty. It is the perfect Christmas red. Christmas red. It's a great red. I remember it, when oh. we first started, and I got really into the ore floss. Love this I, color. I couldn't find a comparable color yeah. in and then the, DMC. The green one that I really love is this one because Which I feel like is, that these two really go well together. Let me together. see the number on that one. Uh, so twenty eight ninety is the green and twenty two sixty yeah. is the red. But them they two, go really well. They go really well together, and well, look at that. Isn't that just adorable? So. So she's. Somebody asked, how are they, like, so small? They're on a higher count fabric, yes. so, like, 32 count yeah. would make them way smaller. What I just showed you was this was stitched on 27 count, so that's why they're way bigger. Yeah, and what I do is I've just, you know, they're big like this, and you can see my hoop marks. And so once I got done stitching these, I cut them apart. And then, and then also what I did... And I'll show these when I get them done because when I get back from vacation, I want to finish some. But when I came in the shop the other day, because, I mean, let's be honest, I only come in once. Well, I come in on Mondays to quilt and then Thursdays if I do floss too. But I came in the other day and at the back door there was all this rickrack. And they had the teeny little baby the rickrack. Baby, baby. So I'm going to decorate with rickrack. Yeah. And do all the fun decorations. And so I'll show you guys. I promise. I'll yeah. get some done and I'll show you guys how I finished yep. them. It's going to be a thing, I think. Oh, and then maybe <laughs> what it's I, so cute. Yeah and, what I, yeah, and then maybe what I could do is I can either bring the tree in or yeah. I'll, I'll do a little video at home. 
and stuff. And if you're one of those people that like to do like different trees for different oh, holidays, you oh could my gosh. you could do a Halloween one. Oh, a that, I immediately thought Halloween oh my because gosh. Halloween's my thing. But oh my gosh, I don't oh know. my brain, like, <laughs> the hamster in my brain is just yes, I am. It's turning. It's a turning. It's turning. Well, since Emily's not here, I want to show my progress on her sister, the sister stitch I'm oh, doing. And yes. I have it right here, but it's just kind of, I got to grab it. Yes. <laughs> and it, it's, I, I know. I told Emily this morning, I marked and I said, it's really coming down to the wire because we're exchanging on Sunday. But this is a... <laughs> I got a lot to do, you guys. Here it is. Here it is. Here it is. So we have to exchange these. It's Sunday, right? It's a Sunday. We, I can breathe. I can do this, you guys. We are exchanging our sister and mom exchanges on Sunday. And um, <coughs> here's Emily's. It's going to be really cute. It's very pretty. It's, I, uh, the design is something that's, just for her and that's awesome I I'm getting my hair done after this and I thought I'd mm. sit and stitch oh there you while go. I got my hair done oh be, because because be it will hour. be like two or three hours mm. that's so good idea. I'm you guys pray for me I'm gonna get it done and then you, I can't wait mom it. mom got me and yeah. I can't wait to see what I got, she did I have to do some finishing touches on hers this weekend or, or you know before Sunday and stuff but um I'm really excited um that we're doing this I mean you know I think that's all we we I mean we love to just give each other stuff we're always like what can we do what, what, what can we do what can we do and so yeah it's gonna be fun so it's gonna be fun and honestly it's hard because we all I feel like we all have everything we Neat. Like we don't oh. like buying things for each other is no longer like I don't get as much joy yeah as making something when you make something and and yeah, yeah. but it's the time for me you know I, I really struggle with yeah. the time thing you guys. but you know the one thing that I have found in not Thank only you. giving for uh like my kids but also my friends that mm -hmm. I like to give to is. I have found in life that, because when you, we go, well, what do they need? Or I don't know their style in their house or their colors. You know what the safe thing is? Give holiday. them a holiday piece. Give them a holiday piece. And then that way they can be gracious yeah. and hang it up, do what they do. And then it goes into storage until the next holiday. Yeah. Because sometimes and, it's hard to know what yeah, their, their style is. What their is. style is. and I like doing holiday things. Yeah, and I love doing holiday things. And I um, I went and got my hair done the other day, and the gal that does my hair, she's been doing my hair for the last, like, five years. And she is just the sweetest lady. And every year I have gave her something for Christmas that is quilted, like a topper, a runner. And every year it's been bigger. And, and bigger, bigger and, and bigger. bigger and so when I went and got my hair done the other day um she opens the gift and I gave her one of the Christmas gingham quilts Aww. and she was like Nettie that's too much and I go no no I says I says I'm just keeping with the tradition I'm going bigger and bigger <laughs> and bigger and you know and I'm glad I did it because she's struggling right now with some personal things in her life and I could tell that it meant a lot to her and I, and I, you know, and it just, just gave giving. me joy just to give and, and to, and, 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 you know, and I never expect anything in return other than just that smile and, and that joy. Yeah. And that's what I love. Yes. So that being said, I'll show you my last finish. I had to text, uh, John's sister and tell her she was not allowed to watch Floss Tube today. Um, because I was going to be showing some things that I've done for his family and I want him to stay a surprise. And so I'm going to show you, and I've showed you this piece 
through the year and I knew that when I seen it I wanted to stitch it for her because her family and her religion is very near and dear to her heart and so I finished the oh wow um this I know I can hold or it no can... not this I know but um Jesus loves me that yeah this I know and so I finished it and framed it one of the things I did and I'll hold it up close is I left the one sheep out at the bottom I put her and Paul, her name is Anne, so I put Paul and Anne, and I put their marriage date and year. And then I'm, I'm going to go pick up a, one of the little, you know, like a silver marker, and I still have to finish the back a little, and I want to write something on the back. But yeah, I have to tell so you special. that John <laughs> is so thrilled. He's like, and when I got it done... I, I had it sitting in the living room, and then I went to put it. He goes, you can't put it away. We have to sit and walk, look at it for a while <laughs> and mm. stuff. But I, I am so excited to give her this piece yeah. because it's beautiful. I, I just know she's going to treasure it and love it for years and, and stuff. And I just can't wait to give it to her. I'm so happy and thrilled oh, oh. that I can do that. So I love it. Yeah. It's beautiful. So, you did a great job, Mom. Yeah. And, and I have to say, I took it to a professional framer and asked them to frame it. And they quoted me almost $600 to frame it. And I was wow. like... it's crazy. crazy. And, and, I, and John's like, I love my sister, but mm, no. <laughs> and so I went to Michael's and they had a sell on their frames. Not that it mattered, but... I picked a couple out that I thought would work and that would match her decor and I did it myself. It turned out just as beautiful and didn't spend, you know, nearly that much. Yeah. And and she's going to love it just as much. Yes. And so just so you guys know, you don't have to go to a professional framer. You can do it yourself if you have to. Yeah. So, but anyway. Yeah. So, well, she's going to love that. Yeah, she's going to love it. So, anyway, awesome. and then quilting. Okay, quilting. <laughs> We're all getting ready to go on vacation, you guys. <laughs> well, and, yeah, so we, <laughs> we, we, have, we have been working on things. So, when we come back, and, yes. and I'm going to tell you, I, I did sew something yesterday. It's so cute. <gasps> that is, we can't show it we yet. We can't show it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But it is so adorable you guys are gonna love it um emily spent the day wednesday because no tuesday <laughs> i don't even know what day it is at this point you guys i don't either <laughs> she spent the day curating bundles and we uh did a lot of bundle curating and kit curating so there's a lot coming out but for this week for our quilters we have this really beautiful uh bundle this is by all the prints are from bunny hill and it's so pretty so beautiful because i think this could be used for winter mm. or everyday decor yeah. oh man but look, how beautiful look at this you guys so to... yeah so i'll have mom go through the pieces i just wanted to show it like all together because it's so yeah. so we've got this one here yes oh i love that piece that re that this reminds me of my my grandma's old uh china Back yeah. in the day, the old blue china that looked like it was from Holland. Yeah. That's what that reminds me of is that. So our shop will be running like normal while we're on vacation. Beautiful. Um, someone asked when we stop shipping. It'll be running like normal because we have employees here that will be working. Um, Not that we don't give them time off, but they, yes. cho they chose to work. <laughs> yes. So <laughs> everything's going to be going as okay. normal Great. except we're taking a little vacation um pretty oh my gosh but you can beautiful. still order and things are still going to be shipped so you'll be taken yeah. care of <laughs> yes and and also um we call her i call her Lindsay and shipping or i should say Lindsay and customer service and we call her Lindsay a yeah but um she answers all your guys's messages and she's so good about it and there's I'm two Lindsay's yeah and so I'm sure she'll be answering messages and everything too. yeah so she but, oh my gosh she's really this good is about that. just beautiful you guys did an awesome is this a whole line it's a line and it's 
I, the name of it is escaping me right now, but it's blueberry, blueberry something, you guys. I'm going to figure it out. It's blueberry. Look at this one. I, I, you see, and that looks like dots, but they're really not. They're like, it's a dot, but it's got a, 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 a space in between. Yeah. But it is just beautiful. I don't know. You know, this, oh man. What, I what is, I what was obsessed one, with this what line. What is that one quilt that we did that we we did so many of them and we did a Christmas one and and oh, we did, I don't know I don't know but I feel like we've done so many quilts they're yeah. all but this would be so jumbled in my mind beautiful and I can see some of Lindsay's quilts done in these and um just beautiful and and it's this is like a what would you call it? It's a cream, but it's kind of like a tanny. Like it's very taupey. Yes, it's beautiful. I mean, I'm telling you, this is very classic looking. Mm -hmm. That you can use it for your winter projects because of the colors, but you could also use it for summer, too. You could Blueberry use it. Blueberry Hill. Um, I think they did have a line called Blueberry Hill, but it's blueberry something. <gasps> Michelle holy cow oh my gosh oh my thank gosh. you so much you oh my gosh wow that was very generous thank you thank you Michelle. so much I'm wish we wish you a Merry Christmas yes. and a Happy New Year oh my, oh gosh. my gosh like thank you oh my gosh seriously you guys are so all like, of you guys are so sweet. I don't think sweet. you guys realize, like, sorry, I'm getting emotional, but I feel so grateful that this is what we get to do for our job. Yeah. And, like, that is so generous, so thank you so much. Oh. Um, I'm sorry. I've, I've, I've felt know, emotional since I woke up this morning. And me me and Lindsay, <laughs> I'm not, I know all of, all of the girls, but, but I... I also do too because, you know, when we first started this journey and we kind of started it so I could not have to work retail anymore. And, you know, and at the time, you know, Lindsay had a little part-time, you know, jig on the side or whatever and everything. But um, as time has gone on, it's helped us be able to help other people, not only ourselves, but other family members and and even other people in our communities and we couldn't do that if it wasn't for all of you and we just so appreciate everything you guys um, share with us and your comments your love your support we just it just makes our lives and our our world shine with what yeah. you guys do for us and in return we just hope that we can continue to make your world shine yeah and make your world happy because that's that's what we're here is to make everybody happy yeah yeah so anyway um thank you so much yeah. um you guys our blessing like mom said uh you bless our lives and i hope um like mom said that we can shine a little light on your lives too and yep. um we all have our blue days <laughs> oh man <laughs> yes. we all i mean if if it isn't one it's you know you know we all you know you guys all have your up and downs we you know we all do. We all do. We all do. And it's just, it, it's such an amazing community that we have with you guys. And I wouldn't trade it for the world. I would not trade this for the world. So anyway. Yes. Let's get Thank on. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> you guys are just going to make me cry even more. Yeah. And I just can't. So the other bundles. <laughs> We're a bunch of crybabies, you know. It's oh like I actually gosh. woke up and I felt like I was like it just felt like an emotional day for me. And I I 
truly, truly, oh my goodness, thank oh my you, gosh, you Diane. I, I, I know I say this quite a bit, but um, this is my my dream come to life. It is, and it has trickled in to so many. I I remember going to my mom. I remember the day. I was sitting on my couch and I said, mom, meet me at Subway for lunch. And I said, we're going to start this business because I don't want to see you working like this anymore. And we met at the Subway. We hashed out a little plan. Yep. And next thing you know, how many years has it been? And been it like, just, it's been like seven years. It's been seven years from the, at that time, and the amount that we have grown just as human beings yeah. and also in the community has been truly a blessing, and it's truly been something that I feel so much gratitude for because I never want to lose that. I never want to lose the humbleness, the gra mm -hmm. like the gratitude. I feel so much mm -hmm. gratitude for all of you, and um, you guys don't just help our family. You help a lot. a lot of. We have employees, and we have. It's so special. Like it just feels. It feels. Some days I wake up and I think, "Is this really my world that I live mm -hmm. in? Like, is this?" I know. And. Thank you. So, yes. um, I, you know, and I, I, I just, I, 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 every day when I get up and I think I have everything I ever need and everything I could ever wish for. And then something happens or somebody comments or says something. And then there's just that, that little bit more that you guys just surprise me. And it just, just brings me such joy and I I could I never dreamed in a million years I would have this many friends and this much love in my life and and I know that it's not just me I know it's my daughters yeah. and I know it's my Lindsay and well, this is a, a huge machine and everyone has a part. Yes. And yes. And we love you guys all. Yes. So we'll just, we got a couple more things to show. <laughs> and then we're hot mess express yeah. over here. <laughs> Sorry, you guys. It is the season. Anyway, we've got. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> we've got two more bundles. Well, it's just one. Oh, is it just one? It's just one big bundle. Oh, it's the one big bundle. And I love this. This is Holiday Cheer by My Mind's Eye. And this is. The, we this did This is quilt. classic retro Christmas. Yeah. I think I'm going to take this bundle home, yeah. even though I know I have some pieces. And I, you know, I, we made the quilt. Mm hmm. And I, I think do. there's a couple in stock, but yeah, but um, I know that I I I love thirties. I love retro. I love anything that reminds me of my grandparents and my mom. And and Lindsay knows that. So every time, every time the sales reps come, it's like a big holiday gift giving to me <laughs> because I don't sit with them anymore and look at the fabric because. I I don't know I it I just get such anxiety deciding and looking and everything and so it's kind of been up to Lindsay and Emmy but they know what I love and I just love and appreciate them so much because they always remember what mom loves mm -hmm. and what they get get me so anyway but you guys if you love the 30s and the retro so many cute prints here you would love it so anyway um, anything else in the newsletter? <laughs> I don't know. I feel a little... Uh... Um, I, I do have one more thing I wanted to share with you guys. It's something we don't have in the shop. Um, uh, John asked me to make his boys some quilts for Christmas. And his oldest son is a fireman. He's a firefighter for Chicago. Um, his other boy, the youngest one, served in the uh, Air Force 
um, during, I think, the Afghan uh, Afghanistan yeah, war and, um, and everything. And so, you know, we're very proud of them. We thank them for their service and what they do. And so I wanted to show you what I made them. And we're going to give them to them for Christmas. And we are so thrilled and excited. Um, got uh, stuff all over them. So we're going to have to probably stand yeah, up. I'm going to scoot this back so we can stand and I can show you what they are. So I he... Sure, we get it the right direction. Yeah. So these are panels, and so what I did is I bought the panels online, and then I added borders until I got it to the size I wanted. And so this is going to be for the firefighter. They have one for, they have panels for every military, and every like police officers, firefighters. So that one's that one, and then this, very nice. This one They're here. very heavy. Yeah, I put flannel on the back because he feels like that Brian, the firefighter, will take it to the firehouse and we want him to use it. And um, this one is for Tony. And he was the military in the Air Force. And I love this because it reminds me so much of my dad is because my dad served in the Air Force as well. And so I just absolutely loved doing this, these pieces. Very nice. And we are really excited. Here, I'll just bring it over here. I'll just sit it right here. Um, we're very um, excited to give them to them and um, surprise them and let them know how much we do love them and appreciate the service that they do for the our communities, our country, and our families and stuff. And so... Um, yeah, it was really, it was really fun to do that for them. And he also, they look like they have patches on them, but that's in the panel. But what he did is he got online and he was able to buy the actual patches from the divisions of the Air Force and also the patches from the fire department and had their names put on them and everything and so I'm gonna do that this weekend before we leave um, and I'm gonna sew the patches on the quilts Very nice. and stuff and um, I, I just I can't wait to see their faces we're gonna we have made arrangements to just take the boys to lunch along with uh, John's sister Anne because uh, you know that's their auntie and she helped raise them and take care of them also as they grew up. And so we're gonna have a nice, a really nice time. Will be something those. they always treasure. Yeah, <laughs> so I'm sure I'll take pictures and I will share the pictures. So, awesome. anyway. Awesome. Okay, but, so we'd had a couple giveaways last week. Uh, we gave away two Winter Quaker uh, patterns and finishing kits. The winners, Deborah Miller, 4594, mm. and Julie Z. Shed. Congratulations. And then the winter table runner kit, uh, Grandma, Grandma Lean, L-E-A-N, Grandma Ooh, Lean. Grandma. Mm. Well, congratulations, ladies. You have a week to know, uh, get a hold of Emily, Emily. and uh, give you, or let her know what you won and your information so we can ship it out to you. Yes. And so this week's giveaway, we're uh, going to give away uh, the, one blue, each of the blue bundle. So this one's a hot mask. She was <laughs> crazy. I I was crazy. <laughs> I'm so sorry. She was trying to find what it was. And then a bundle of the Christmas. So, so. enter after we post the live in the comment section below. Um, and so like we kind of talked about, we are all going on vacation, um, so we will not have a live next week. Um, mm -hmm. We're kind of, we may have a pre-recorded, we may not, so I, yeah. I'm not sure. So um, we will still have newsletters that will go out on Thursday and Friday for yeah. you guys. And we can't wait to see you when we get back. We mm -hmm. hope you guys have a beautiful, wonderful holiday, Christmas, 
season yeah. um, with family, friends. We appreciate all of you so yes. much. And make sure you take your vessel wherever you go. <laughs> I, I think I made that a thing now. Everyone's like, I love my drinking vessel. <laughs> and just so you know, I put all my, I put the stickers. So Take your drinking vessel wherever you go. <laughs> and, 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 and it might end up having some nice, good drinking stuff mm. in it at some point during at the holidays. At some point, yes. Holiday cheer. Yeah. Love you guys. Love you Merry guys. Merry Christmas, and we will see you soon. <laughs> we'll see you next year. Yes. Love, love you. Love you. Bye. Bye.